Okay, this is my proof of concept video to my unofficial modifications for Johann Sebastian Joust. Um, I'm not the developer of the game, this is just kind of an unofficial thing I did. Um, I love running the game at cons, I love playing the game. Um, I brought the game to the uh, last couple of PAXs I've been to, so like I was at PAX East, um, I was at PAX South the last couple years bringing it, I was at PAX West or Prime, um, I'll probably bring it you know, to Prime again. Um, I also brought to Emerald City Comic Con uh, for a few hours before I got shut down, but, you know, what can you do? Uh, to give a quick overview of the game, uh, the way it works is everyone has a PS Move controller. Uh, you press a button on the back to turn on the controller. Once everyone's turned on their controller, the game begins. Get ready to joust. Go. So the way it works is everyone's holding a controller, and the controllers are motion sensitive, so you can kind of move it around a bit, but you got to move a little slower. If you get kind of close to the threshold, you'll see kind of the light flash like that. Um, and if you move it too much, uh, you're out. So the last person standing is the winner. Um, so what you want to do is you want to um, hold your controller and you want as still as possible or as steady as possible and kind of push other people to get them to move their controller too much. And if you're the last person remaining, uh, you're the winner. It's really fun. So I need a couple modifications, like I said, to make this easier to run at conventions. Uh, the first one is at the top of the screen. You can see it says happyrock.wave at uh, normal. Uh, Happy Rock Wave is just a currently playing song. Like I have a song list uh, with like a hundred or so songs. I'm always adding more, so I just thought it would be nice to just have uh, the currently playing song at the top. Uh, the at normal is the current speed. Um, you heard during the demo the music will slow down and uh, speed up. Excuse me. When the music is uh, faster, the controllers are less sensitive and, and you can move around a bit faster. Um, let's see. What else was I going to say? Oh yeah. So, um, special shout out to Ben Sound. Uh, thank you for letting uh, having um, royalty free music. I'm able to use. Um, so, links in the description for that and the game. I'll go back to the original song first. Um, so, I changed. Uh, so, I just added that. I also changed the shuffle algorithm just a little bit because the songs can be shuffled. You have like a little playlist file, so you can shuffle the songs around. Um, but the algorithm can kind of lead to repeats. So, I just made a little change to that, so uh, songs don't get repeated. Uh, the biggest change I made uh, was a registration lockout. So usually there's like a big crowd because you know there's people like pushing and shoving each other with PS Move controllers, um, and people are like you know when they get out you know I always have them you know, hand off the controller to somebody else in the crowd who wants to play. Um, but occasionally people want to know the rules. So since people like to press buttons on their controller and the games begin, I have this uh, feature. You hit the R key and you can see it says registration locked. And now you can press buttons on the controller and uh, the game won't begin. I can press R on my keyboard again, and then of course the game can begin uh, like normal. I can actually also hit uh, the R key during a game and everything works like normal, you know, like the warning thing. Um, I can even do the secret rainbow taunt, you know, I do the secret rainbow taunt, which I actually don't know if it's in the release version, but anyway. So uh, I can do registration locked in the middle of the game or to be, uh, when I know I'm going to explain the rules next time. Um, and then, of course, that just locks out registration from the uh, from the, uh, taking place until I unlock it again. I can even uh, lock registration in the middle of people turning on their controllers. As long as one person hasn't turned on their controller, the game won't begin, of course, until I uh, unlock the controller, and then everything kind of picks up like normal. So those are the unofficial hacks. Like I said, I'm not the developer of the game. I just really, really enjoy playing this game. It is a really fun game. Uh, this is Secret Rainbow Taunt. Uh, so that's it for me. Just a couple modifications. You will you may have noticed if you've played this game before, you own the game. Um, I'm still using the Kickstarter alpha build. Um, that's just because I'm grumpy and I hate change. I don't know if I mentioned that already. Um, but you can check out the game, www.jsjoust.com. And if you see a big group of people at a convention you're at uh, with a bunch of PS Move controllers, I highly suggest you join them because it is very, very fun. Thanks for watching.